Hey, what's up? This is Matt Dietz and this is Agency Launch. This is the show where I talk about what it's like running an insurance agency. I have been an agency owner now for 18 years, since 2005. And I talk about all the things that have helped make me successful. I have made all the mistakes and I would like you to not have to make them. So I talk about staffing, I talk about sales, I talk about marketing, and I talk about uh, customer service and retention. So appreciate you being here. Hey, real quick, I am doing some new things with my program, and I wanted to extend an invite to you to chat with me. So if you send me a text to 208-213-8809 and you type chat with Matt, you, I will send you a link and you will book a call with me. I want to hear what you're going through. I want to hear what you're struggling with. I want to try and help you. And I want to see if there's a way that we can help each other out. So uh, book a call with me. It's no cost. Let's just get on the phone, get to know each other a little bit, and maybe uh, maybe I can help you out. So 208-213-8809. Chat with Matt. Get in. On with the show. All right. Well, today I wanted to talk about, let's tell a claim story. Who doesn't like a good claim story? All right. So I got a call from a company that I insure. They are a florist and they called me. I got a terrible call from the owner and she was like, Matt, we have five weddings this weekend. This is Friday. And I have a trailer full of flowers in my parking lot and they're all frozen. The trailer broke. And I was like, oh my God. She's like, uh, is this covered? And I said, I'm pretty sure that it is. You know, there is content coverage and there's spoilage coverage and there's all kind of coverage on this policy. And, and, and I figured this was a good opportunity to use their insurance and make them whole again. I couldn't really think of any way that this wouldn't be covered. But my adjusters, my claims adjusters, uh, sure tried. So... Let me tell you what happened. So we filed a claim. They rent a truck for big events like Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, big wedding weekends. And they have it dropped off on their property in their parking lot. It's like a, the back of an 18-wheeler, right? It's a refrigerated truck bed or whatever. That's not a bed, but trailer. That's it. But it doesn't have the cab on it. Okay? So they drop it off, throw the flowers in there for the night, and then they do their thing so and they've been doing this for years and um so anyway what do you think happens right we get the call back and the letter goes out denied i'm like oh come on like nothing's coming easy for me right now so so um i'm reading through it and i was like all right for for starters on our in our policy language they have content coverage for starters, right? Content coverage is listed. They have plenty of, this is probably an $8,000 loss. So there's plenty of content coverage on there, but there is an exclusion. This, it says that there is no coverage for like extreme loss or change in temperature for contents. Okay. I was like, all right, well, that's all right. But it does say in the policy that contents are covered up to everything at the address and within 100 feet of the address. So there's a radius. I think that might be unique to my policy, but you can read your policy and see if there's a radius. So, you know, the parking lot or anything with 100 feet is covered under content coverage, but it's excluded for extreme temperature changes. I was like, all right, darn. There is spoilage coverage. They have $10,000 worth of spoilage coverage. So what's the problem here? Well, so I go through the exclusions and one of the exclusions on there is a vehicle. And so I'm going to put a pause on that. And that's the reason that it was declined is because it was in a vehicle. Mm. The other thing she said is, well, you should have had this transportation the the way. So I'm like, well, how, how in the world are we supposed to cover this? You know, in what world? And in what, how do we cover this for our client? They do this multiple times a year. How do we make sure they're covered? They said, well, um, there's this endorsement. And she emailed me an endorsement. And it was some kind of transportation endorsement. And there's one with spoilage and one without. So obviously, we're looking at the one with spoilage. 
Uh, but the fine print in there states that it is for like when it's in transit, when it's from the place it's coming from, going to the place it's going to, if it's damaged in transit, or if it's being stored at a dock or a wharf. I haven't read the word wharf in a while, but I read it this week. Um, or a warehouse or something like that. That's when there'd be coverage. So I think they could have poked holes all over that because it wasn't in transit. My client doesn't move the trailer. It gets dropped off. And so I was like, I don't think that would have been covered. So I called the adjuster um, and had a good conversation. I said, hey, can you walk me through why this was covered? And I kind of told her that I'd done my research. I was like, all right, look, from what I understand, I understand why there's no coverage for contents. Um, uh, That transportation endorsement that you sent us. I, I think, I don't think you would have found coverage in that either. I said, but for spoilage, why was the spoilage denied? She says, because it was in a vehicle. I said, well, it wasn't in a vehicle. I said, this was in the trailer of uh, an 18 wheeler. There was no cab attached to it. And, uh, this wasn't a vehicle. It was like a big refrigerated box. All right. They don't drive the truck. They were just storing, it's like they were storing stuff in there overnight and then this happened. And she said, oh, that's interesting because, you know, the communication between my client and this person, you know, my client used the word truck. And so she thought it was a vehicle. And I think that's where the discrepancy was. So at the end of all of this, we're going to cover it. But again, this is something that I'm happy to get involved in with my clients because these things can be complicated. We had to search all over the place. You know, my team and I spent time, I had multiple conversations with the client. She was distraught because this is a big loss. She says, have we been doing this wrong the whole time? And so I get worked up when that happens and I feel bad because what if there isn't coverage and what if I did this wrong? And so, you know, take this stuff very seriously. This is what we do, right? So we got to make sure that it's right. And so they sent out the denial and then we have it reopened and they're, they're going to end up covering it, which is which is just great. So um, just another reason that you should have an agent, you know, this is something, these are the kind of stories that I want you to tell, you know, your clients on why should I go with you? You know, what's, what's different from if I buy insurance from you? Well, I'm going to help my clients get $8,000 more that she may not have gotten because she doesn't know the language. Um, she's not going to go through her policy line by line. I guess she could, but you know, most clients um, don't have the nuance or the, you know, the, the, they're not going to be going through their policy line by line. Some will, you know, but it's really nice to have an advocate on your side who can really kind of get into the weeds with this stuff and uh, help them out. So, well, I think we have a good premium for her policy and stuff like that. I've got a great relationship with this client as well. Um, But this is something that this is why you have a good agent. Okay. These are the kind of stories that you can tell when you're selling. Okay. And I'm, I've been racking them up for years. So um, this is where our worth comes in and this is why people should buy from you. So, so when you do stuff like this um, or you can steal mine, I don't care. So you can say, Hey, look, this is why you have an agent because agents will go to bat for you and um, will help you get put real money back in your pocket. I think I did a podcast a couple months ago where I helped a client get $12,000 more on a claim. So I'm just racking up stories this this quarter and um, that's going to help me sell more insurance. So there you go. My name is Matt. This is Agency Launch. You can find me all over the place. I am on LinkedIn. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Deets Agency. And uh, don't forget, you can send me a text at 208-213-8809. And uh, also check out my, my program at agencylaunch.net. Thank you so much for listening. Keep up the good work.